In this video I'm going to show you how you can calculate the mean and the standard deviation using an HP12C financial calculator. And so for this we've got the following notation, x with the bar on the top is going to be the mean and the letter s is going to just be our standard deviation. And this is your sample standard deviation which is the one that's got n minus 1 on the bottom. This is the standard deviation that your calculator is able to find. So just for completeness, this is the formula that the calculator uses to find the standard deviation of some data series X. It looks slightly different, but it works in exactly the same way as the formula you're used to. The reason it does it this way is just based on how series work and it prevents memory um, rounding errors. So without further ado, we'll just go and do an example. And there's no point making this example difficult, just do a very simple example. So we'll just take our data as being 1, 2, 3. And unsurprisingly, the mean of this is 2. 1 plus 2 plus 3 divided by 3 is um, obviously 2. So you've got 6 divided by 3, which is 2. And standard deviation of this is 1. So we're just keeping it very simple, just so you can see how this all works. So first step of doing this on the calculator is we need to clear the memory. You should get in the habit of doing this, so pressing the function and then SST, and that clears the statistics um, memories. Then we need to enter our data, and to do this we're going to use the sigma plus button, so essentially we're adding a number to the statistics menu. So we've just got one, so you press number one, put the number in first, so one and then sigma plus which is down in the right hand corner of your calculator next to the plus button. So that's one saved into memory. Then if we press two and then press sigma plus, um, we get that in memory. This number that appears after you press sigma plus is simply counting. It's counting the number of entries that you put into the calculator. So we've put two in, that's why that's showing two. And if we put three sigma plus, we've got three data points and it's all now into the correct memory. So all we need to do now is actually do the calculation and we can access these functions using the G button. So all of the blue text on your calculator is accessed using the G button and as you probably know the F button gets you the orange text functions. So if we press G and then zero that gives us the mean which is two as we expected or if we press G and then the dot we get the standard deviation. So that's how to find the sample standard deviation using your HP12C calculator. And thank you for